my lips are dry right now so i'm just gonna go in with a laneige lip balm in the flavor of mango and on top i'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite eos lip balm it smells so good Hi everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So as you saw earlier, I have applied two different kind of lip balm on my lips. The bottom one is a shinier Laneige lip balm in the flavor of mango or in the scent mango. And then on top, I just use my usual go-to lip balm from EOS. I'm not quite sure what this flavor is, but it doesn't really matter what the scent is. It's the formula that I like. It's very lightweight and it feels moisturizing to me. It's two very different consistency. I want to leave it on for the rest of the video. And then at the end of the video, I want to see how it feels. Anyways, so this week I have ventured into Laneige line because these two are so talked about, so popular, highly rated products. I guess my curiosity gave in and just went ahead and bought them. I want to see what this hype is all about, what everybody's saying, how these two are so fantastic. So I did buy these two products from Laneige's website, the company itself. And we'll talk more about that. But as you can see, I did try the newest scent that they have, which is Mango. And the other one is their, their Sleeping lip mask in, in the scent watermelon pop i know it's watermelon and it looks like watermelon and even the packaging is really cute does this remind anyone of the sriracha sauce i guess to me it looks a lot like sriracha to me i don't know maybe it's an asian thing maybe i eat sriracha but anything that's red and green reminds me of sriracha so when i saw this it just reminds me of sriracha it doesn't remind me of watermelon i don't know maybe perhaps if they have some black dots on the packaging in the red part that would definitely remind me of more watermelon but right now it's sriracha if you've used this lip mask before you would know that is a very highly rated lip mask it comes with 0 0.70 ounces or 20 grams and it has fruit berry complex vitamin c and it's supposed to have intense moisture soft and smooth all that good stuff except for one of the products in here that i see is coconut oil which i did not realize that there was coconut oil in here we'll see how that goes because i don't like to have coconut oil on my skin in my skincare of any kind especially face because they do clog your pores so we'll see how this goes but i have been sleeping with this for the last five nights and i don't know i have some thoughts let me show you what the inside looks like it just looks it really is true when you first buy it, it's too pretty to even want to dig your hand in there but now that it is used you know it's a little messy let's talk about the scent it does smell like watermelon but it smells like watermelon jolly rangers like the candy version so it smells really artificially sweet right now it's at a point where you know it's it's bearable but if they have any more scent to this it would not be bearable for me Right now it's just bearable it's like you had chew on the candy halfway through you know so it still smells but not as strong as you first start the whole candy when you first take it out of the wrapper so it's not that bad if you are smell sensitive to smell or fragrance this might not be for you but then again if you're going into this product you should know that it has, it has scented because it comes in a lot of different scents I was just expecting them to be more naturally sweet smelling as a fish as opposed to artificially sweet smelling. So what I usually do is I use my Q-tip and I just sweep a little bit of it. 
I just want to take it out for you to see the consistency. It is very smooth. It's very soft. It did come with this little scooper, which is very cute. It's a rubber scooper, but but for me, with a scooper, unless I wash it every single time I use it, I feel like I'm sort of double dipping and triple dipping and quadruple dipping it, and I just don't feel good that way. So that is why I don't use that. So I just use a Q-tip so that way I can get a fresh and clean every time I dip it into the pot. It's a germ thing. Here, let me show you what the consistency. It's very smooth and very soft and very glossy at the same time. No. With cotton Q-tips, it usually absorbs a lot of the product. But it does give, it does leave this really glossy look. Very much the same thing as its lip balm counterpart. And now my hand smells of watermelon. So this one retails for $24. I will show you the unboxing of the video that I did. It was really exciting. So my lips normally are on the normal side. It's not too dry and it's not too moisturized. But of course we would like our lips to be moisturized. So that's why I venture into these products. So I just wanna see how effective the product was. I would say my lips were about 40% dry. So it's not too bad, but it wasn't in like the unbearable stage of things yet. I will show you the clip of my lips on the first day before we started. It looks a little bit dry, but that's because I have not been drinking water. So the first night that I put this on, I have to be a little more self-conscious when I'm sleeping because I don't want it to go all over my pillow. My silk pillow and then my white bedding as well. However, and it did anyways. <laughs> However, after the first night of using it, I realized that you really have to smother and use quite a few good amounts of these products to have it stays on your lips. Because the first night that I use it, even when I wake up, it wasn't a lot there. And then the second night, I started using it again, and I did I put twice the amount of products as I usually did. And Honestly, I've heard so many people say how they wake up and their lips are so moisture. However, for me, I feel like when I wake up, after putting two thick layers of this on my lips at night, I finally woke up with what looks like, yes, your lips looks like they're so juicy. It's because there is a coating of products of the shiny, glossy products that's left on your lips. That's what gives it the juicy look. I did not smell anything when I woke up in the morning. But look-wise, yes, the lips do look moisturized. But I will also show you what day five looks like. And I feel like there was really no difference in my lips. As far as moisture goes, I feel like there was no difference. I didn't feel that my lips were any different than it was before. The only, again, the only difference I feel is because of that glossy layer. And I'll show you the day five. It, but when after I wipe off my lips in the morning, there are little specks of a red tint from my lips, which is, would be from the watermelon. After I have wiped off the layer of the glossiness in the morning, as you can see, my lips are back to being dry looking as it usually does. So to me, I feel like, yes, of course your lips is going to look glossy and juicy if there is a layer of that shininess on it. If you just layer your lips with Visaline or Aquaphor, it would do the same thing. It would give you the shininess of it. So I feel like for me, there was no difference regarding the moisture factor. It does have a very thick layer of this glossiness, so it takes a while for this layer of glosses to actually go away. After using this lip sleeping mask, I feel like what it did best for my lips were to exfoliate my lips because there, there were a lot of dead or excess skin that I, when I wipe and it came off. In that perspective, I feel like the lip mask really did a good job of exfoliating the lips for me. And because it removed a lot of the excess 
or dried up skin, my lips therefore felt smoother. My lips were smoother because of the exfoliating or something that in this product is helping my lips remove the excess dead skin on the lips, but it wasn't moisturizing because of the efficacy of the product. The other Laneige product that I use is their lip balm in the flavor of mango. And this one I like so much more because the fragrance does not smell artificially sweet. It actually smells like mango, but in a softer, lighter, sweet smelling, kind of like, well, kind of like actual mango. This lip balm is $19. So I like the lip balm in terms of the smell better. And this lip balm claims that it will nourish, hydrate, and gloss. It has shea butter in here. After using it for five days, and every single time that I go out or after I eat or drink or whatnot, I would reapply with this. I personally don't feel the nourishing and I don't feel the hydration, but I do feel the gloss, as you can tell here. It's very, is glossy, but also, at at the same time, it's a heavier gloss, like both of these products. They're on the heavier feel. They're not lightweight kind of feel. But I feel like a lot of the products, when it, once it dissipates, it does leave, again, that glossy coat on your lips. But it becomes tacky, very tacky. I, I have a video. I will show you a clip of me feeling. It's, it feels like you have like a layer of glue on your lips where it's just tacky and it's not smooth. And that's, and again, that's what I believe these products, that's how they give you the long lasting glossy look is because they have a thicker coating of the glossiness material on your lips. It is there. It doesn't look like it's dry unless you wipe it off. Yes. But if you just leave it on, even at the end, there's not a lot of product left. It still give you a nice glossy look to your lips, but kind of uncomfortable because it's heavier feel. I can feel something is on my lips. And if I touch my lips, it will be tacky. I don't really, for me, that's not a comfortable feeling. So, but as soon as you, you reapply it, yes, you get a lot of glossiness that like once you apply, but again, it wears out and then you're back to the tackiness feeling on your lips. To me, it's not comfortable. So after using these two products exclusively night and exclusively day, honestly, I don't feel any difference. The only thing that I really do like with the sleeping mask is the exfoliant on my lips. As far as nourishment and hydration, I don't feel the difference. And I have put on a layer of my EOS up here and the lip gloss up here. And right now I can tell you my lips on the bottom feels heavier than it is on top. Yes, the one on top is not as glossy looking, but it's more of a like a gloss, a natural glossy look versus clearly artificial. I just know that regarding hydration and moisturization, I don't get that from these two products. If I were to wipe both of these products off, my lips will feel dry. But if I apply the mango flavor on the bottom, I don't feel the satisfaction of my lips being moisturized or hydrating. And I apply this layer on top this morning when my lips were so dry, I feel that uh, the satisfaction of like somebody just pour some water on my lips feeling. So that is my personal take. I know a lot of people love the, these two lip products. They will die without it. But for me, I will survive with my EOS. Also, as far as actual repairing and hydrating, I feel like if you were to use the Aquaphor lip, lip balm, I feel that has more of a repairing factor to that versus these products. So as far as glossiness look, Yes, you can achieve that, but can you also achieve that by putting a layer of Visaline on your lips? Without it being $20 or $24. So that is my take on these two lip balms since this past five days. 
so I will continue to use them until they're gone because you know I can't really pass it on it being used however so now we go into the shopping experience from this company so I would recommend if you don't know if these product works for you or not I would recommend buying from a store that can be easily returned such as Sephora where you know no question asked and it doesn't take long the process doesn't take long however with this company there's a lot of extra expenses in there that I didn't expect I should have read it first as it didn't work out for me I actually would return them however looking into the return policy you have to pay for your own shipping and tracking and all of that so you have to pay for that and they recommend you to get a shipping label through them which will cost you an additional five dollars that's what they recommend i had spoken to customer service well, i just feel like if a company stands behind their product they shouldn't have a problem having free shipping and it irks me that i have to pay for shipping back i feel i just feel like the only reason why anybody such as myself returns is because it didn't work for me and that is just my opinion so if you have tried these products and if it works out for you fantastic just everybody's different and until the next video bye everyone